Hi guys, how are we doing today? I hope you're all good. I'm good as well. I've got a slightly red eye because I poked myself while I was doing my makeup, but there we are. I have got a super interesting project today. I'm going to be making a velvet corset. I've drafted my pattern. Um, this is what the front looks like. And this is what the back looks like. If you want a separate tutorial on how to pattern draft corsets, let me know in the comments below. I've been a very good girl and I've also drafted a toile. I'll try this on and show you what it looks like. I'm pretty much, I'm quite happy with the fit. Um, this velvet, it's a really gorgeous velvet. It's super thick and it doesn't stretch at all. It's got a really nice body to it, so it's gonna be ideal for a corset. And here I have Duchess satin fabric, which is thick as well, and it's gonna work really well as a lining. I've got this bag um, that I made a few months back. A super cute bucket bag with this really nice pearl handle. And I'm making this corset so it can go nice together as an outfit since this is the same material that I used a while back. So yeah, follow along. Um, hopefully this tutorial will help you sew your own corset. And for those who are new to my channel, hi, welcome. My name is Tammy. I basically teach people how to make their own clothes and I do fashion commentary as well. So if those are the things that you're interested in, I'll be super grateful if you subscribed and followed along. This is a better view of the front of my corset. This is the center, this is the middle, and then this is the side panel. Hopefully it will make more sense as I sew everything. When I'm doing my patterns, I always make sure to mark the most important areas. So here is where my bust is, and this is where my waist is. As you can see, it's, it goes in a lot more because I, yeah, I need to be snatched at the waist. So <laughs> putting it in at the waist will give it that really nice hourglass that corsets are known for. This is the back of my corset. This is the side panel, and here is the center back line. These are all the things that I'm going to be using in my project. I've got waist tape here, which is basically used to strengthen the waist area in corsets as that is basically the area that's going to be pulled in the tightest. This ribbon, I will use it either on the straps or decoratively at the front of my corset. I've got black piping here which I'll use to accent the corset and it's just going to add really nice definition to it. This is kind of the star attraction. These pearls that I'm going to hand sew um, onto the neckline. So just to add a really nice trim and give it that really old style look. I'm not sure yet if I should use silver or gold accessories. I think silver always looks really nice with a deep you know velvety blue but I've also seen people use gold and it looks really nice so I'm, I'm going to decide as I as I go along and see which one I prefer my my test garment that I've done with the pattern that I made and yeah it's very makeshift but just so that you get an idea of what it looks like when I pull it together you can kind of see it takes shape and it cinches me in Right, I'm cutting out the front of my corset. I'm gonna cut it out in the Duchess satin, which is the lining first, because I'm still quite paranoid about the pattern and it's worth me double checking that it fits okay on this specific fabric as well before I cut out my precious velvet. My front pattern pieces are cut out. I've cut it on the fold. So when I unfold it, these two are gonna be two pieces 
and the fold is here so it's going to end up as one piece that's mirrored these are my uh, back pieces that i've cut out on the satin i'm pinning all my lining pieces in place and using my notches to make sure everything matches up where it needs to match up and now just sewing everything I'm using a half an inch seam allowance to sew up everything and make sure it's all nice and consistent. I hope you're enjoying this video so far. If you are, please give me a like or even better, a subscribe. Pressing is so important. Honestly, do not skip this step. As much as you want to, do not skip it. You will thank me later. Your garment will thank me later as well. I finished sewing the lining piece and I've just pinned it to my top for now so I can see and you can see what it looks like. When I take it round me and cinch it in, this is the fit which I am happy with. It's, it's taking shape. It's quite late now so I'm going to call it a day and work on it tomorrow. It's the next day, I'm absolutely freezing, but I've got my tea to warm me up. As you would have seen already, I have sewn my lining piece and I'm happy with how it looks. Now I'm gonna cut out the velvet, which is the best bit, but also the most scary. So let's get started. This velvet fabric is very thick and I've got it on the fold at the moment and it's quite hard to pin in place. So I'm using my pattern weights to hold it and I've just drawn around it using my fabric chalk, which just makes it easier to follow when I'm cutting around it. I've changed my regular sewing foot to a Teflon foot and this just basically helps the fabric glide a lot easier. Again, it's a very thick and stiff fabric so the teflon foot just kind of helps makes it a lot easier to sew and you might be wondering why am i using a cloth over the velvet and that's because velvet is quite well it can be quite delicate fabric and i don't want to have any type of burn marks on it my iron that i use is very good but i always err on the side of caution um, because I'm working with high heat, high steam, so I just use the cloth to make sure everything is protected. The velvet has been sewn. This is the base now, and I like how it looks. It's quite hard to see all the joinings because it's a really deep blue. I like the chest. This bit is meant to be straight, but it's, it's curving inwards for some reason, so I'm going to have to figure out a way to fix that before I attach my lining um, but otherwise the the fit is looking good now the lining is finally attached so this is the front and when I turn it around this is the back um, it all pretty much matches up and here is the piping that I've added as well just for extra definition I'm still debating whether or not I should use gold or silver accents with my corset. So I've brought out this gold and pearl necklace that I have and just putting it against the corset, I've decided that I'm gonna go gold because I really like the effect it has. So I've gone ahead and bought gold eyelets. So that that is settled. Next is my straps that I need to add to the corset. I'm going to add a uh, black pipe into it for consistency. This is the first one and this is the second. So that's what I'm going to do next. I just wanted to add another point as well. The corset I'm doing to, to basically match with this bag that I've made. And this pearl handle is gold. So it's going to just be more cohesive if I use the same color metal um, and it'll help to bring the look together.
my Tammy Silver label is attached. I needed to do that before I fully close the lining. So it's only sewn onto the lining. And I've done my strap as well. I'm a bit unsure about the positioning, if I should move it across a bit more. Um, but I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it like this and trust that I've made the right decision. The colour is quite dark, so hopefully you can see the the lines. This is my bust line and this is the waistline that I've transferred from my original pattern. Now I'm going to create my boning channels by stitching the lining piece and the velvet piece together. And I've already done that with this centre line here, so I've just stitched two pieces together so I'm going to do that for each seam line I've pinned my velvet to my lining this is what it looks like on the lining side so what I'm going to do is I'm first going to hand stitch this and tack it in place then I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and stitch in the ditch which is basically sewing along this seam line here. I've been on this for a few days now and I know it doesn't look like it but I'm actually nearly finished. I've got three main bits to do. I need to put the eyelets in at the back of the corset so I can lace it up. I need to put the bone in inside to give it the structure and I need to finish the hem of the corset as well. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do those things. Hopefully I can finish everything today. It's time to sew my boning. I've already got a few lines that I've stitched. This is a boning that I'm using. It's a plastic boning and it is one centimeters wide. I still need to finish the back of my garment as well. This will be where I put the eyelets. I've put in the burning channels here and as you can see it's curling up because the boning is not straight. This is how my boning normally comes so whenever I order it, it comes rolled up like this. Um, so I'm going to iron it to straighten all of this out. When I turn it around to the back, this is what the back of the corset looks like. And I've basically stitched the waist tape. This is the waist tape um, along the boning channel line. So it basically doesn't show at the, at the front. So this, you know, when I lace up my corset, it's gonna help to add extra stability to this garment.
I've ironed everything now so you can see it's a lot flatter and what I need to do next is this is the back so and this goes towards the front I'm gonna curve this design in so the corset is gonna be longer at the front than it is at the back This is a strip that I've cut out. I'm going to use this to finish the hem of my corset. It's one and a half inches wide and I'm just going to sew it along here to finish all these raw edges. This is my hem that I'm working on. So I've placed it right sides together and just sewn it along the curve and my plan is to fold this piece over to the back of the corset and then to stitch in the ditch where this seam line is to hold it in place and close all the raw edges that's on the back of the corset. But I'm going to iron this first so that everything lays flat. Right now I'm working through so many layers of fabric between the velvet and the lining. I think there's about four to five layers. So right now I'm just using, you know, the hand stitch method to base everything in place so that I can take it to my sewing machine and not have to kind of pin or clip anything down. Now trigger warning because I'm about to hurt myself. As I'm sewing, the needle actually enters my finger and you can see on the edge of the screen, <laughs> the needle is in my finger. And if I tell you it hurt, it hurts so much, like that little thing caused so much pain. And yeah, I, I was bleeding a little bit and my, my finger was sore. But you know, this is, this is the hazard of, of sewing, but look at the hem. It's, I think it's nice anyways. It's really nice and neat and I'm super happy with it. Worth the pain, I guess. I am ridiculously close to finishing. I've done the hem, love how it looks. Now I need to finish the back of the corset where I'm going to lace it up. Basically, I need to finish these raw edges so I can add in my eyelets. Now that I've sewn the strips onto the back of my corset, I am going to fold it in and close all the raw edges top stitch it in place then put my eyelets in i'm using fabric chalk to mark where i want the eyelets to go and just checking that everything lines up you can see faint lines that i've rubbed out because i've kind of reworked where i want the eyelets and i'm just kind of checking the distance to see that it makes sense right i'm back with the needle you know, hoping that I don't hurt myself again. So I'm just hand stitching the pearls onto the neckline of my bodice to give it that kind of rich, rich look. The corset top is finally done and this is the bag that matches with it. 
you might have noticed from the last um, video that I did I've changed the pearls so the other ones were much smaller but it just didn't work for me and, and they weren't falling right so I've changed them to much bigger ones and I've just hand stitched them on and yeah I'm really happy with it I think it looks really nice so I did make this for myself but my sister's actually going to wear this outfit so I'll show you later me lacing her up and stuff and this is the skirt that's going to go with it this is one of my patterns from the Nini Ola gown shameless plug I will link it down below if you're interested in making this and so if I just go to a wedding um, what I'm going to be wearing is this corset dress it looks a little bit flat at the moment but once I put the petticoat it's going to look really really nice So my sister is just going to help me um, lace it up and then we can see what the final look and how it comes together. This corset project was quite a long project for me. It I probably worked on it for about two weeks, you know, in the evenings and some weekends. There was a lot of hand stitching involved because the fabric was so thick, just some aspects couldn't go through my machine. And I also made a lot of changes to it. Initially, I hand stitched on the smaller beads to the neckline of the corset and I decided I didn't like it so I changed it to bigger bees that took more time but overall I'm really really happy with how it came out it's probably one of the best corsets that I've made and I'm really happy with that pattern as well that I've drafted it works so well and it's actually the same pattern that I've used for that blue corset um, and the one that I'm wearing now but they look quite different because completely different fabrics the straps are quite different so it just gives up a, like a different style so I'll definitely keep on to that pattern that I've drafted it's going to be so useful in other projects as well hope you guys enjoy this video thank you for watching all the way through if you're into fashion if you want to learn how to sew this is the channel where you'll learn that so make sure you subscribe so you can keep up to date with future uploads and if you like this video, drop a like. I would really appreciate it. Right now, it's 12 o'clock in the morning. Just got back from the wedding. So I'm going to go wash my face and go to bed and start thinking about my next sewing project. So see you guys next time.